Hello, and welcome to uh, my classroom. I'm Mr. Corp. We are going to be dealing with two-point perspective today, and we're going to be building a roof on top of our building here. And so the first thing that we've got is our cube, which we've got our vertical line here, and our two vanishing points, our left vanishing point, and over here our right vanishing point. Again, from the top of this, and you maybe have seen one of my videos before if you're one of my classes. Uh, if not, well, welcome. We've got our vertical line here, which we start with, and then go off to our two vanishing points on the left and on the right. And one of the things that we've got to talk about a little bit is our placement of our horizon line. In this case, I've placed the horizon line low so that we have more space up here to play with, uh, with the roof. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find perspective center on one of these sides. I'm going to choose this side, and this is where our roof is going to be peaked at. The peak of the roof will be up here. So in order to find perspective center on this side, I'm going to draw an X from corner to corner. I need a bigger ruler for this one, so we'll use this. Here we go. So corner to corner, I'm going to draw an X. Now, as I'm doing this later on, on my own, just for fun, I'm probably not going to draw an X all the way through. I'll just draw a small little X through where I think perspective center is going to be. And uh, then I don't have as much to erase. But for uh, example, for demonstration purposes, we're going to draw an X all the way through. So here's perspective center. Perspective center. From perspective center, I'm going to draw a line straight up in the air. And as high as it gets is where the peak of my roof is going to be. So take 10 seconds, go ahead and draw out your perspective center, and pick it up in a moment. Now we have perspective center, so now we're going to draw our line straight up. So using my ruler, my straight edge, I'm going to line it up. And again, some of this is for visual purposes only. I'm going to draw a line all the way from X, all the way up, from perspective center, all the way up to wherever I want my roof line to be. And I'm going to go pretty tall because I want to have that angle of my roof line at the top. So here's the top of my peak. From the top of my peak, what I need to do now is I'm going to break one of my rules of perspective. Remember, and maybe you don't remember, but one of the rules of perspective is that all diagonal lines go to one of the vanishing points in two-point perspective. Well, here we're going to break that law. In fact, we've already broken the law by doing this, and those lines are called working lines. So working lines, working lines are lines that eventually I'm going to erase in this process. So I'll erase these red working lines. I'll erase this red working line. And so all of my working lines here today in this video will be red. So I'll erase them all later. The next two lines I'm going to draw are going to be the angle of the roof or at least the peak of it, the facade. I'm sure there's a very fancy architectural term that I need to uh, review for myself. So there's the front peak of my roof. Pretty basic. From perspective center, way up tall, and then I've got my peak. If I made it too short, I might not see the roof line because this side of the building would get covered up by, or this side of the building would cover up that roof. So I've got my peak here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my rules of perspective and I'm going to draw from this peak all the way to my left vanishing point. Left vanishing point. Here's my right vanishing point. So using my ruler, Always, always, always use a ruler. I'm going to draw my line to my left vanishing point. 
And I don't have to draw it all the way because I know eventually I'm going to erase some of it. Now here's a technical term in all of the papers, it's all in all of the books. We're going to eyeball, we're going to eyeball this back angle. Eyeball. But we are going to base it on something. We're not just going to decide where it's going to be. We're going to take our ruler and we're going to line it up with the same, well, I guess it would be the parallel line. We're going to line it up with this angle and gently slide, 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 slide. This is a long side of the building until I hit that corner. Once I hit this corner, that's going to be the back edge of my roof. Now, if I were just going to do a Monopoly style, and I'm sure there's a trademark there, but a Monopoly style roof, I would go ahead and erase this little bit of a blue line. But in the next minute, we're going to extend our roof outward and down so that it has an overhang on the building. So go ahead, you've got perspective center, draw in your angles from the top from the peak of my roof to the left vanishing point I'm going to draw my roof line and then I'm going to eyeball from this angle back here to that angle so go ahead take your time and uh, give that a shot Well, now that we've got our roof drawn in, what I'm going to do is create an overhang. And I think I will use, let's see, I hope orange shows up. Orange, uh, let's see, I'll use, uh, let's see, purple's better. So that you can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my long ruler again, and I'm going to extend my roof line from the back. I'm going to extend it forward a bit. So now I have this line sticking out the front and this line sticking out the back. We're again going to use the word eyeball. And we're going to, on one side of our roof, we're going to line up with our initial angle. And we're going to slide that out and kind of check my angles as I'm going, nice and gentle. And I'm going to drop that down. I'm going to drop it down pretty low because I know that my roof line is going to hang over the corner of my building. Now I also have to do the same thing here. And this is where some of these lines are going to get confusing because there's a lot of overlap. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line up once again with this angle, slide it forward until I hit my new overhang peak, and I'm going to draw a line down here. Okay, so now we've got a side of the roof. This is the, the underside of the overhang. And now back here, I'm going to repeat that. Line it up, slide it back here, and drop my line in. So now I have the overhang on here. And what I can do at this point is I can take my eraser, because I'm using uh, markers, I can erase some of these lines that aren't necessary. So if you want to go ahead and do that, go ahead right now while I am cleaning up my drawing, and you can erase everything that's covered up by what's going to be that side of the roof. I will drag my chalk across this and you're using your eraser because we always are drawing in pencil. Maybe I should have mentioned that to start with. So go ahead and take care of that. And when you're done, come on back. Go ahead and pause me now. We have just a couple more things to do. We've got our roof line. We've got the angles on the back of our house. We have the angles on the front of our house for the, for the overhang. But now what are we missing? We're missing where the bottom, the bottom of the roof line is and the bottom of where this roof line is. I'm going to define this first, but it's important 
to know where this side of the roof ends so that I know where this side of the roof ends also. This is very much related to this and we're to this and we're going to use that corner twice. So from this point, I, I like where this is happening, so I'm going to use this corner and I'm going to line up with which vanishing point do you think? We, exactly, right, right. We're going to line up with the left vanishing point. The roof line goes to the left vanishing point. The bottom of my building goes to the left vanishing point. Remember, we have this line in here, which I've erased, but that also went to the left vanishing point. So using my purple marker and deciding this point here is going to be the corner, I'm going to line up with my left vanishing point. And I'm going to draw that roof line in. And uh, so close, so close. I was almost there. Just have to fix that a little bit. And so now I've got one side of my roof is all finished. Now I don't know, now i got to get this line in. Where does this line end? Well, where is the bottom corner of this going to be? I'm going to determine that based on the relationship of this point here and my right vanishing point. So I'll take my ruler, line it up with that corner and the corner of my right vanishing point, or the, the point rather, and I'm going to find out where about this line would intersect with that line. And it's going to intersect somewhere in here. I have to take my ruler and extend that line out, which I'll do right there. And there's my intersection. This side of the roof is going to go to the same vanishing point that this side of the roof did, but it's going to end at the edge of the building. So from there to my left vanishing point, draw that in and end at the side of my house or barn or coffee shop or whatever you want it to be. And that is how you do a roof. Now I could do it a lot of different ways, but for our intents and purposes, this is what we'll do. You could also decide that maybe you want it to be pitched back. Well, there's other things you could do. And uh, so I guess with that, I would experiment and have fun with it. So there is your roof. Remember, you can always rewind me. You can always pause me and see uh, what it looks like. And let's see, have a great day. Be kind, rewind. Yeah, I've used that one before. Unless you've seen it, it doesn't matter. Roofs, bye.